The president's position on infrastructure spending. Keystone clears the hurdle. Highlights from World of Concrete and Detroit calls for streetcar bids. That and more on Construction News Tracker brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Adopt tax reform and use the savings to fund infrastructure. That's what President Obama proposed in the State of the Union address. Closing tax loopholes and lowering business tax rates could result in the $20 billion needed to close the funding gap, resulting from a lack of gas tax revenue. At the Transportation Research Board meeting recently, Federal DOT Chief Anthony Fox used the occasion to call for a renewed effort to expand infrastructure funding. One of my priorities is to work on a bipartisan basis with Congress to show them that the most fiscally responsible path forward is to create sustainable investments in infrastructure now. The DOT has posted a trust fund ticker graph on its website that shows the declining revenue available as the deadline nears without any new infusion of money as MAP 21 reaches its September 30th deadline. Related to this is a report from the American Society of Civil Engineers that without an additional $157 billion in annual revenue for infrastructure, the U.S. will experience a decline of 3.5 million jobs and over $3 trillion in GDP by 2020. A long-awaited environmental report over the proposed Keystone Pipeline is out and basically claims no impact as a result of its construction. The politically charged project now must clear eight federal agencies in the next 90 days and the president's approval in order to become a reality. World of Concrete 2014 is over and there's much to focus on as for Construction Pro's editor Larry Stewart reports. Hi, it's Larry Stewart from World of Concrete 2014. This show may have lined up head-to-head -head with the Triennial Con Expo here in another couple of weeks, but was, the product development and news here were, was, wasn't overshadowed by the, by the big show in March. The Portland Cement Association sent a positive tone with an 8% increase in consumption predicted for 2014. And we've made certain assumptions that we think are conservative, residential, that's going to count for 50% of the growth that we have for this year. Wow. Our forecasts are for 1.1 million housing starts. You compare that against other construction uh, companies and analysts, and they'll tell you it could be as high as 1.5 or 1.4. Moody Analytics, one of the most revered uh, uh, economic forecasting uh, uh, groups in the world they have it at 1.4 million units. Mm -hmm. If you take that extra difference, our 1.1 to their 1.4, that takes the growth rate for cement consumption from 8% this year to 16%. Oh my gosh. It's double. Mack Trucks announced an air disc brake option for its vocational trucks and said that the uh, rotors could more than uh, quadruple the life of uh, drums in those applications. Caterpillar signaled that it would add an uh, axle forward version of its uh, popular CT660 on highway trucks and more than double its market potential for those vehicles. Today, we, we are going after about 50% of the market today with the setback axle. As we look at the data and the applications that we can go after, this product has filled that, that niche for us. Going forward, we're going to be launching a whole lineup of set forward axle trucks that we're very excited about. We saw Kohler's uh, first generators, including an, uh, an electronic fuel injection version that promises to cut as much as a dollar per hour in operating cost. The concrete industry management program dedicated to educating co co concrete construction managers raised $750,000 in its largest charity auction to date. Portland Cement has issued a rosy economic forecast for the year, and you can watch Larry's interview with Chief Economist Ed Sullivan by searching for constructionpros.com PCA 2014 forecast. Oh, and a reminder, Con Expo 2014 is just around the corner in early March, and we will live stream from the event at Las Vegas. 
The U.S. Commerce Department estimated 428,000 new homes were sold in 2013. That's 16% more than in 2012. Unusually harsh weather kept December sales 7% below the November pace. Housing demand is a key barometer for the nation's economy as well as for construction jobs. Caterpillar forecast 2014 sales to equal 2013 at $56 billion. The company recently reported fourth quarter earnings were better than expected, even with a 10% decline in sales. Bidders wanted. That's the call from general contractors Stacy and Whitbeck. Detroit construction of the M1 3.3-mile streetcar line in the Motor City has the firm posting 30 bid packages for the $140 million project, which it hopes to wrap up soon. Those interested can view the packages at stacywhitbeck.app.box.com slash M1 rail. And we wrap up by saying the one who says it can't be done should never interrupt the one who is doing it. This is Construction News Tracker, watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place. Brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4 Reach us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4 pros or at Twitter where you can leave a comment or share us with friends using Hashtag construction news as the streaming web never ends.